Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. Uh, we are going to start moving, I guess. That's the best way, I guess. Basically, since I see this kind of little thing here, I guess that's the back side of the car. So let's go here, let's go on the right side of the road, basically. We'll see where we end up. Um, I just want to tell you shortly before I actually begin here that I heard some goddamn thunder outside my window. <laughs> the very moment I was about to start recording, it was like... So we'll see how it goes. If I have to cut anything, it's because of the thunder. Yeah, it's hopefully not getting closer. That's kind of the weird thing with Swedish summers, though. Um, that's a nice house, actually. I like that house. <laughs> the lonely little hard only, you know, outside in the wood, all alone. Yeah, okay. They had a friend over here, though. But they both seem kind of old. Some, some nice houses, yeah. Um, yeah, but as I said, I mean, Swedish summers. It's like. I woke up, oh sunshine, this will be a good day! And like 15 minutes later, the rain were pouring down. Yeah, and then now it looks kind of nice again. I mean, I can see some blue skies and everything, but I heard the thunder, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Basically, we have a car here. Yeah, they drive on the right side of the road. I don't know where we are actually. I've been thinking a little bit, maybe we're in Sweden, but <laughs> I haven't seen those orange sticks that I've been talking so much about, so. Um, Maybe we are not in Sweden. I mean, we'll see though. This terrain it feels kind of, you know, Northern European slash Scandinavian. Um, so we'll see. There's a lot of goddamn P parking spots. Um, it might be Sweden, I know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't really tell though. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but mm, Swedish summers, everybody. It basically looks like this. It's like, oh, blue skies. Five minutes later, it's like... <laughs> pouring down rain and everything yeah so if you go here make sure that you have nice weather because it's much nicer that way yeah uh, but right now I mean I don't know let's see we have some signs here so gliden this is most likely Sweden yeah lek and the barn och djur that is so Swedish I don't know really we are in the middle of the woods it says <laughs> Uh, Lekana that's basically playing, you know, playing children, uh, like a warning sign, playing children and animals. So I don't know if animals basically play on the road, but whatever you say. Yeah, so Gliden, that sounds kind of north though. You can see it on the trees as well. Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's not basically a big city or society because I've never heard of it before. Uh, but we are indeed in, in Sweden, so yeah. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit pleased here. Lövåsen, Lövåsgården, Björn Liden. Björn Liden, that sounds kind of inland. Yeah, it does. Um, even though, I mean, it's it's kind of flat, actually. It's kind of flat, it is. Yeah. Uh, but I guess we need to make a guess sooner rather than later. Let's see, what's this one? Reningsverk. Some kind of a cleaning craft work or whatever you call it. You know, that one who cleans water and everything. Can we take a look at this bus stop? Some weird... I don't know. I don't know. Um, sure, we can we can move on for a little bit longer, and then we'll basically take a guess. Yeah, that might be good. Oh, is this? No, it's not a Sibyl. It's a goddamn tap. <laughs> this must be the 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 smallest gasoline station I've ever seen. A uh, Gunnebori pension pensionat. Oh, Gunnebori. I have no clue what that is. Where that is, or or. Yeah, <laughs> basically it's somewhere though. It's somewhere. Yeah, as you can see, it started raining on the pictures as well. Uh, so basically, yeah, as I said, all of a sudden the rain begins. But we we need to take a guess. I'm feeling that it's kind of far north, but not far too far north. Still, um, yeah, I might be completely wrong though. I mean, I usually am. Um, yeah, and we, we won't see much else here, basically. Some some hills. Uh, let's take a guess. There. Bam. Make guess. Oh, okay. So it was basically very, very far inland, but close to Norway. Still Sweden, though. That's okay. Sweet. Let's move on to the next round. Um, USA. USA. I can feel it in my fingers and in my toes, because you have the red stripes in the middle, or the yellow stripes. Uh, let's see. Four bees. Isn't that a magazine who kind of tells you who the richest people in the world are? I don't know. Let's see, for sale. Acres he knows something by own. So okay. Yeah, we, we are most likely in USA. Let's see, did we have a car here? Did did we wait a minute? 
We have a car, it's traveling on the right side, so we are in the US and A, everybody, or Canada, but most likely USA. Um, I mean, it can be both, it can be both, yeah. But, yeah, let's, let's see, it feels kind of Eastern, Eastern American, maybe, a little bit inland. Why not Mississippi? Why not Mississippi? Yeah, there we go. I'll move on for a little while, maybe we can find some more clues before. Um, I mean, it feels a little bit trenchy. You have the trees. I think I saw at least one or two palm trees. Maybe they grow here as well. That's a nice tree section. Yeah. Uh, mighty. Hopefully not Cyrus. So let's see if we can find something good or nice over here. Um, who knows? Who knows? Uh, oh shit. <laughs> it all turned dry all of a sudden. Yeah, this is most likely, you know, somewhere in the central. As I said, I'm, I'm, I'm standing by what I said. Oh come on, shit. Uh, dead end. Doesn't sound too nice, let's go the other way then. Can we? Yes we can. Yeah, I, I have no clue. I mean, and the, the pictures are really really blurry as well, I don't really like that. So let's take a guess here, Alabama. Mississippi, I said. I said, I'm going to go for the Mississippi. Uh, it was Florida. Nice. Kind of close to Tampa. Is this Tampa Bay Lightnings? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, sure, Florida. Fair enough. Still still a decent amount of, of points, I feel, yeah. <sighs> so here we go again. Yellow stripes in the middle again, and a palm tree. I mean, this also feels... Maybe American... Hold on a minute. Yeah, the signs are on the right side of the roads. So we are basically... In USA again. This is not Canada. I can tell you that for a fact. It's far too dry to be Canada. Um, <laughs> at least I think so. Yeah. Or maybe we are even further south. I don't know. Might be Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I, I think I've guessed like this before. I've, I've had an area sort of like this. I thought it was Texas. It was Mexico. Um, but as a matter of fact. Do they have kilometers per hour there? Oh shit, is there... What the hell is this? We are in Mexico! What kind of shirt do you have? Seems like some kind of football team, I don't know. I won't look at them. But sure, horses, I mean we are... <laughs> Mexico, I guess, yeah. Basically. Not Canada, at least. I don't think you, you'll see that kind of stuff in Canada. A family on a horse wagon. Um, not to be that kind of person, but it feels a little bit more common in Mexico than, you know, at least Canada. <laughs> maybe in USA, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Some signs here might be good. What do they say? I can't read them. God damn it. What do you say? Nothing. Okay. Uh, nice little car there. Reduza a velocidad. Velocidad, that probably is speed because of, you know, I know the word velocity in English. Velocidad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I basically know Velocidad and, and Feliz Navidad. Okay, you, you have sandals. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to go for Mexico. What about, yeah, the middle of Mexico, because why not? What the hell? Brazil? Sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was not correct. Obviously, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it was it was it was Portugal as as you heard. Uh, a little bit weird, but okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a nice little white stripe there. Let's not look at that. Um. Uh, yeah. But I was wrong. Obviously. So we might very well be in Sweden again, or Norway, or Finland because of the nature, basically. And the, the speed sign, you know, red and yellow, that's that's a typical Swedish speed sign. I can't really read that one, I'm sorry. Um, but it's up in the northern parts of Scandinavia, I'm kind of sure about that. Yeah, and look, we have, is this, why, why, why is there white sticks here? Is that kind of a, a really, really sun-tanned orange? I mean, if, if you know, if, if stuff stands in the sun for too long, they kind of become bleached, or whatever you call it. This might be, you know, kind of those snow sticks or whatever we should call them. Um, but I'm going to guess for, for Northern Scandinavia once again, as I said. Um, last time we had a little lonely hut, or two lonely huts in the middle of Scandinavia. 
now we have a little bit more wood <laughs> no houses so far that's a shame that's a shame yeah it is um okay let's see here if we can find anything fun i want fun things okay you know yeah there we go a road sign let's see what it says Sölvaka strömma. I don't know, that can be both... No, basically, yeah, in, in Norway you don't have the the O with two dots over it. They have an O with sort of a little line crossing it instead. So this is basically Sweden, uh, I think, or Finland. I don't think they write in Swedish though in Finland. Um, Krank, Morten Högen, that sounds really, really weird. Can we go in there? I want to go in there. Can I? I can! No, I can't. I can't go further. <laughs> God damn it. They basically took one picture on this road and then they were like, nope, you can't go in there. Sorry. Sorry for that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I wanted to go in there. I want to see basically that sign. Ooh. This is really, really far north if I had to guess. Um, what about up here somewhere? Yeah, sure. The, the northernest third of Sweden, I guess at least, or even the northernest fourth. Uh, you know, one fourth, yeah, the northernest one fourth, basically. It's a nice, nice place, though, I gotta say. I mean, we don't have too many nice lakes in Sweden, but got some nice, some nice places, basically. Yeah, um, so I'm feeling kind of confident. I mean, Sweden, as I said, most things are pointing towards it. The basic, you know, <laughs> that it's written in Scandinavian and it doesn't have the Norwegian kind of uh, letters. We have the Swedish uh, letters instead. The O with two two dots that's pronounced Ö. Uh. Yeah. Um. So let's go for for. Oh shit! Why why did you? Why why are you? Why don't stick to the road, Google car? Okay. This is really really weird. Why did you take a break or something? I mean that's acceptable too, I guess. Yeah, it, it's fika time. Time for a fika, everybody. Yeah, if you don't know what fika is, Google it. Um. Yeah. So let's see. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, we won't get much out of this. Basically, I'm not finding any road signs that gives me anything. Um, and I mean, those road signs that I did find, they were kind of, you know... Can I go in here? Oh, I can. No, it's one, one more of those. They take one picture and then it's like, fuck that crap. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Was that some, some person on a bike? Are you riding a bike in Sweden? Obviously you are. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we won't find anything, basically. But we are in Sweden, most likely. Maybe, maybe Norway, but the sign did not point towards it. Let's see if we can read anything here. Uh, Stor on. What the hell? Stor on. I don't know, we have many oars over here. And an oar is basically a small, small, small um, river. Whatever we call those small, smaller kinds of rivers. Yeah. Um, okay, but let's go for northern Sweden. Storon. That sounds kind of not too far north because I guess if you go really, really far north, you have, you know, kind of the old Sami, you know, the, the Swedish. Um, what do you call it? The Swedish Indians, basically. Um, yeah, they, they named the stuff up there, or some of it at least. Um, and I don't think that they would name it Storon, basically. Unless, you know, we have some Swedish guys being like, Fuck the crap, this is our place. Oh, Sana. Yeah, it still sounds kind of far north. Let's, let's go here. Middle of the north. Yes. Okay, it was yeah, a little bit further down, basically. Uh, as I said, it felt a little bit too far north but yet I, I decided to put the pin there um, as you can see Malmesjaure, Lullejaure, Moskosel, Storforsen that's kind of Swedish though yeah instead of you know the old Sami language Pita Elven Hånaven um, yeah okay it was basically further down south but Sweden everybody that's nice you gotta love Sweden yeah and now we are somewhere duh <laughs> Basically, and we're driving on the right side of the road, basically going backwards. Can this be USA? Damn! I didn't know you got... Look at this! This is amazing! I like this! Yeah! 
I mean, is this like the Grand Canyon or anything like that? Basically, when I when I see something I don't really recognize, um, and I'm like, you know, okay, so where 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 am I? It's basically, you know, most of the time it's oh, San Mateo. We might even be in Mexico again. I mean, you have some you have some big Mexico, uh, big <laughs> you have some big Mexico. No, you have some big mountains in the northern parts of Mexico, if I remember correctly. Um. Like here, Sao Mateo. I don't know. Basically, I guess we'll have to look for some road signs. Let's let's follow the traffic now. Maybe we can take a look at these trucks. I don't know. I don't know. Oh come on! Just move on. Move on, will ya? Move on. Come on. Do it. There we go. Sweet. Nice nature, though. I gotta say that. Uh, Ambulancia. Yeah, that's not American. I'm sorry. El salud, la merced. Okay, we are <laughs> not in USA. Um, so, yeah, maybe we can, you know, move a little bit here and, and explore anyway. Because, you know, I want to see where we end up. Yeah, but okay, I'm, I'm going to go for northern parts of Mexico. Basically, big mountains. It can be Chile as well. Uh, it might even be Chile, actually. Why, why don't we go for Chile this time? Yeah, I mean, this feels a little bit too green to actually be mountains in the in the um, northern parts of Mexico because it's kind of dry there um, Campamento o Qatar si si macaroni um, Ronald por San Mateo it's basically San Mateo Vicente Sanchez okay yeah um, I'm going to go for you know somewhere in Chile I mean the problem is though that Chile is a really really big country Basically, it's all the way from over here to down there, um, <laughs> and it's basically all mountains, as far as I know. I mean, it's basically you know part of the mountain range. Um, oh come on, do it, do it, travel, travel, come on, come on, come on. Nah, let's not, let's not bother. I mean, nice nature, very very nice. I like the view here actually, I like it a lot. Um, but let's go for the southern southern part of Chile. Do it. Okay, it was actually Peru. I mean, I was kind of in the right, what do you call it? <laughs> right um, area of the world, at least. I mean, not that that's too hard, but it wasn't bad, yes. It was. I'm sorry. D did we have a Sao Mateo close here? There is actually San Mateo, but it would have been, you know, impossible to find. Um, okay, 11,000 points, that's basically... Still kind of good, still kind of good. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this round. We had basically much, much as Sweden in this round. Uh, a little bit North America, bad, you know, kind of a okay guess. These guesses were, one were good, one, yeah, I don't know. I didn't do very well, basically. And these two, you know, Mexico, Brazil, and Chile, Peru. It's hard, but I, I should have done better. Um, yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully I'll see you all around the next time. Leave a like if you want to, and have a great time. Yeah, goodbye.